Good evening from Bangkok, Thailand, you guys. Today, I'm going to go check out Jod Bear's Market. I'm walking in the area and the mall right beside it, and it's a busy night here on a Sunday. It's very lively, so I can't wait to check out the night market and see what it's all about because you know things here, or the big thing here in Thailand is the night market, so let's go. Look at that. It's so busy. Everything's so lively. Oh, I might have to go for the coconut. So cool. It is bustling here. You got a new bar, bar restaurant. There's a lot of things that I haven't seen in pictures of job fairs yet. There's a, if your feet are tired, you can get a massage, a foot massage right there. 250 baht for 30 minutes, which is only about like $7, seven US dollars. Man, it's busy and we're not even inside the job fairs market just yet, but we're about to go in. We're at the entrance. As you can see, there's a sea of people already. Man, this is really cool. So I think this is one of the newer markets that's been around for a couple of years. And there's everything. You get some roti right here. I see that fresh roti for dessert. It's always good. Wow, you guys, you got some mango sticky rice right over here. You got some restaurants. Some Japanese food, takoyaki. Man, so many people, so many people. Look at that, you guys. They got a lot of restaurants from what I'm seeing. They have live music. It's all outdoors. It's hustling and bustling. And I'm here with my friends. It's their first time too. There's, you can buy clothes, apparel if you want but we're here to look for some unique food, some street food, maybe some street food to try. Um, if you look behind me, there's like a little open air bar. So let's keep going, let's keep going. Let's see what they have. Man, everyone's having fun. You can feel the energy right here. Look at all these food. Everyone is just like hanging out. And guys, look at the backdrop of this market. You got all these buildings. It's busy, but it's not too crazy where like you can't walk. Um, there's still a lot of good walking room. Everything is smelling so good right now. But you know, when you come to a night market, if you want to strategize, you have to make at least one round first to see what's available and then you pick and choose what you want. That's the strategy I always go with. I recommend you guys do that too. Otherwise, you're gonna get too full before you even reach the end of the market. So you might miss out on some good food. Here we got to the food stalls. There's some ice cream. Everyone's enjoying some ice cream right now. It looks really good. Probably get some ice cream to finish off the night. Got some, I don't know what that is. You guys can see it's crowded. It's getting more crowded in the food area, but you know, that's natural. Everyone's hungry. Got some durian stand right there. Wow. Not going to lie, you guys, it's a little difficult to walk around and be disciplined not to order anything just yet because the smell of the food is just so amazing. Number one rule, first things first, guys. Let's get some hydration. Fresh coconut here is always good. I like to go with the coconut blended without milk. It's extra large, 60 baht. That's only like less than $2. All right, you guys, I just ordered my coconut smoothie. It's blended without milk. I like to enjoy the entire coconut flavor, but with milk is pretty good too. So it just depends on your preference. It's nice, refreshing. Thailand has the best coconuts and it doesn't even come close in other countries. Got my coconut here, you guys. Let's drink it. Mm. Highly, highly recommend you get a coconut smoothie to keep yourself cool as you walk through this night market. I got the extra large 60 baht. That's less than two 
US dollars. This is like the famous restaurant that does uh, some stewed pork bones with like a bunch of chilies. But we're not going for that today because look how massive that is. This is like a beer stand. They have alcohol, sochu, sake. You want a beer? Go for this one. That's pretty cool, you guys. You got grilled uh, mochi sticks, I think. Look at those grilled river prawns. Damn, those are giant. Fresh seafood. Man, things are smelling. Oh, these cockles are huge. They're like half the size of my hand. Whoa, you guys, I've reached the bug and insect booth behind me right here. Let me give you guys a closer look. It looks like they got some grasshoppers, crickets, silkworms, crickets right there. I don't know what these are. These are coconut buggies, scorpions. Should I try it? I haven't done that yet because I'm still looking for all the options and then I'll finalize my strategy. But those bugs, to be honest you guys, I've never eaten bugs or insects before. So that's the one thing that I haven't messed with. But we'll see if we do it tonight. Some fried chicken over here, you guys. Some grilled prawns. And man, there's so much food, some skewers over there. This looks really good. All right, so my friend is going to make me try some live baby shrimps with him. He was debating to do it or not, and then I just told him I would do it with him. So to push him, because this is his first time in Thailand. So I'm trying to get him to experience everything we can. Here are the baby shrimps, you guys. Look at that, they're live. She's making the little shrimp salad. Oh, she's putting it in right now. Here we go, here we go. Look at that. Oh man, that's a lot of shrimps. Wow, look at that. Now she shakes it up. They're bouncing, they're bouncing. Look at that, you guys. Whoa. Steven, are you ready? Oh, hell yeah. He says, hell yeah, you guys, so we're gonna eat it right now. I think it's, it's I don't know if the flavor's gonna explode in my mouth or the shrimps are gonna explode in my mouth. Something's happening. <laughs> Either way, he's gonna get an explosion in his mouth. <laughs> okay, guys, he got too excited. He almost forgot to pay. Don't do that. <laughs> Make sure you pay. We got our Yo. table. Time to, hanging out right here. Time to, look at that. They're still alive. All right, you guys. You wanna get first, man? You go first, you go first. Uh, Look at this guy, he's gonna go first. I, I gotta mix it up really well. I mean, shake I, it, I, shake I it. Shake it up good, you know? I gotta mix that salad up. Guest of honor, raw shrimp, you guys. Raw mini baby shrimp salad with the Thai flavors. Oh. Look at that. Here we go. Right there. Look, you gotta get a little bit more just in case. Just to hanging out, you see them twitching? Hurry up, man, they're jumping out of the smooth. <laughs> Okay, my turn, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a spoonful. Look at that, you guys. Proof. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. <laughs> that's actually pretty, pretty damn good. <laughs> that's pretty good. good. That's, that's kind of good. It has a little sourness. Yeah. A little some chilies, some spiciness, yeah, some yeah. saltiness with the fish sauce, lime the freshness from the onions and green onion and then the shrimp you can't really taste it so that's actually pretty good i would uh if you guys come i would definitely um recommend ordering it because it's a cool experience it's a fun experience steven should they order it you guys definitely should try it out yeah when in bangkok gotta do like bangkok try it out you guys over here it looks like they have some sushi some prepared sushi cooked Got a pool bar right here. You want some alcohol? Pretty good area to chill. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. So I didn't really see anything here at the night market that I haven't seen, like in the malls, for example. So 
I'm probably not going to try much because, you know, I've had a lot of these food already. But it's a cool place to come hang out with your friends if they're in town and just experience the street market. Very cool outdoor seating area with that restaurant over there. You get the nice backdrop, beautiful night. Super cool. So again, guys, I've never been here, never been to a night market. Definitely recommend coming here. But I'm going to go back home. I'm going to wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment on what I should do, where I should go. I would love any recommendations. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.